All right, guys. Uh, it's starting to rain out here again. Uh, my neighbors over there, I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, I've worked on their cars before. Helped them out. Uh, right now, I hear sirens, but as you can see, you can barely see over there. And uh, during the day, you can see that real good. Uh, down the street, uh, I don't know if you can see the wind. Yeah, you can see it. Uh, it's, it's rolling pretty good. So that'll be, it'll be fun to deal with in the morning when I'm heading to work. Uh, I said I was going to do a video of what I use whenever I go riding. Uh, first thing I do is I always pack me some Kingsford match light. Uh, I don't like carrying lighter fluid around. Uh, I always pack two cans. Uh, this is a VP Racing green one. Uh, and I got that one from when I used to dirt bike ride and race. Uh, I used to race when I was in high school and right out of high school until one of my buddies passed away uh, doing dirt bike riding. Uh, carry both of those. I try to get ethanol free. Like I said, I mount that up to the front. Uh, I carry me a 30 foot toe strap. For when uh, some of my buddies get stuck, if we don't have an area we can't get to them, the winches aren't long enough, we can always hook that up to the front. Uh, I carry two axle straps. I got those off of Amazon. I got that at uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, we've got two of these uh, tree savers for the that we use. Uh, they do exactly what they do, uh, save the trees. Don't like putting winch ropes or anything around trees. Uh, try to ride friendly, try to ride safe, try to ride smart. I don't like tearing up trees. Uh, there's only so many trees. You can plant trees, but uh, I grew up uh, not protecting trees. But uh, if, you, if you didn't need to tear them up, you don't need to tear them up. Uh, this is one of the boxes. This is a Harbor Freight one. Uh, it's one of their, like the Pelican knockoffs. It's worked perfect. You just spin this, which it's probably froze up with mud. I hadn't cleaned it. Uh, I got a snatch block for whenever my buddy gets stuck. Uh, he doesn't have a winch yet, so I, I hook my winch onto the front end of his. I run it, uh, run it through this snatch block. I run it through one of these big D-rings. I got these at Tractor Supply. And then I run the uh, tree savers around that and hook it into that. Uh, I got these small D-rings. These are what I normally hook. Uh, on the back of my four-wheeler, I hook one of these on there so somebody can just hook their winch into that. Uh, I've got two of both of those. Uh, I carry a big tent, as you can see. Sorry, the video with the, everything. Uh, I don't carry the chain. I do not like chains uh, when you're trying to pull somebody out. I've seen way too many of them break and hurt people. Uh, but dented the back of truck beds doing that. Uh, I have my blow-up air mattress, uh, electric blower that I hook into uh, the truck. Uh, that is my smoke machine. I'll have to do a video of how to use that uh, and show you all what it would look like if you had a leak on your intake. I do that with my intake at, before every ride. So before next ride, I'll pull that out. I paid a pretty penny for that. Uh, I do carry a small set of tools. Just a basic hand tool set. I don't go crazy. I'm out on the trail. That's just if say something breaks or I got to tear into something real quick just to get an axle out. Uh, I carry extra dielectric grease. Uh, I carry a little brush just in case you never know when you're going to need a little brush to brush something off. This was what came on my champion winch and I didn't like it so I bought an orange one. Cheap ratchet that I've had forever. This thing is it, this thing is about plum worn out but I do carry an extension. Uh, we have beat on it out there on the trails, trying to get a ball joint out of my 300 to put a new ball joint in there. Uh, carry a few little things of fuses, uh, just in case somebody needs one on the trails. A whole bunch of different pliers, some Allen wrenches. A uh, I have another ratchet there. I've got a quarter inch ratchet in here as well. Both of those are three eighths. I do have a quarter inch step down. Uh, these are three eighths. I've got another quarter inch set somewhere. Like I said, Allen screwdrivers. Uh, you never know when you're going to need something like this. I know it sounds kind of crazy. Uh, it's just a, it's a bottle opener. Uh, sounds kind of stupid, but you never know when you're going to need something like this. You could need it to do something. Uh, this one's, uh, I never used it, but you never know, man. I mean, you could get in there where you got a nail or you got something in there where you got to pry on or, uh, 
something like a piece of wood stuck somewhere where you can't yank it out. You can take this corkscrew, you can screw in, you can screw into that piece of wood. You got some leverage there you can pull out on it. Uh, you just kind of got to be prepared for everything. Uh, like I said, my Leatherman, it all goes in there. That's a cheap Leatherman from Walmart. I got, I probably was about five or six when I got it because I've had it for God knows how long. It's ancient, uh, as my sister would put it. She thinks that 26 years old is ancient. Uh, then again, she's only 20, so what would she know? Uh, I carry that. I set it up on the back of the four-wheeler. Uh, those are the tools that I carry uh, and on the four-wheeler. I do carry this cobalt set. I got this on sale this year. I used to carry a big box of all my work tools, all my Matco, Snap-on, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to start carrying this one because, man, it's got everything. I bought it for $100. They had it mismarked like idiots. It's got all your deals there. Uh, it's got all your extensions. It's got ratchets. Uh, it's got, man, it's got it, anything and everything. It's got all of these sockets. It's got all of those sockets. It's got everything, 6-point, 12-point. Uh, anything and everything you could think you would need or whatever. Uh, I do carry uh, drill bits. I carry those drill bits. Uh, I don't carry an air compressor. I probably will later on. I don't know. I always top off a brake cleaner. And I bring brake cleaner just in case we got to do a job like putting a new seal in somewhere. Always good to seal it up. Uh, I don't carry it, but probably whenever I get my 12-foot cargo trailer and to build that as a, uh, as a toy hauler type deal, I'm going to start carrying my power washer. I bought that $100 at Lowe's. Uh, Christmas sale. It's just a 1600 PSI Greenworks electric. Works perfectly fine. Came with a foam bottle. Foam bottle uses a little bit too much, but whatever. I use Purple Power to clean my machine. Uh, works great. Uh, hadn't had an issue with that. I always carry uh, extra Honda. I buy everything from Pro Honda. Uh, shaft oil, uh, coolant, uh, ready to go. I always carry an extra deal of uh, Honda oil, Honda air filter. Uh, I carry Honda... Uh, like all this, I've got extra spark plugs. Uh, one of these is my old one. One of these is a brand new one. Now, where they might be both old, I don't remember. Spark plug, uh, oil filter, a new O-ring. I do use just Master Pro from O'Reilly's. I bring some marine grease just in case I have to pop my air filter off. Uh, I always terminal protect it. I'm probably gonna buy another K&N air filter and uh, bring some of this K&N air filter oil. Uh, that's just from my truck when I had it. What else do I bring? I bring my speed ratchets. I bring some pry bars. This is a little deal I made. This uh, fits in on the oil filter and it drains perfectly. Uh, I just had this laying around one day and I cut it and it drains my oil. I carry these just in case we have to tear down into my buddy's razors. Uh, they're all the different fittings, the hex bits, tor torx bits. I used to carry these, uh, these, but these were all for my 300, these sockets, so I don't carry those anymore. Uh, like I said, I used to carry all this stuff. I don't need more bins. I got that big one. Uh, all my screwdrivers and stuff. I got that little pry bar. Uh, I've got a big heel bar uh, from Harbor Freight. They work good as long as you're not trying to pry off a cylinder head or nothing. Uh, I'll carry a crescent wrench. Uh, some air chucks and air gauges. Uh, I got a low pressure air gauge for mine. I carry some electrical stuff. This is my junk drawer and every time I open it I get OCD but as you can see I have several. One, two, I'm sure if I had my keys for my truck which I probably do uh, I could do that. I got gasket maker uh, just in case. I carry some electric tape. I got some ram mounts. This is how I used to have my old four-wheeler uh, light bar mounted on that. Whole bunch of zip ties. Each came off my 300. These are almost impossible to find. I had three parts. I had two parts bikes, and uh, like I said, I got several deals. I got the feeler gauges, extra nuts back there. I always use waterproof. The heat shrink ones. Don't be a ding -a -ling and just use the regular connections like these. Don't use these on your mud bike, guys. Please. I hate that. I see people with that all the time. 
their crap's broken out on the side. We get them back. I'm a good Samaritan. I, you know, I always carry heat shrink. Uh, this is basically do whatever I need. That's the little kit that I carry uh, on my wire strippers. A uh, whole bunch of oil, uh, air. There's some more. A whole bunch of wire. Uh, see, there's some more. There, the wire feet, and that's for mountain light bars and stuff through cages that I've done. Like I said, I do work on the side, so I'm not by any means as good as Solitude Customs, but I get the job done. That was uh, some stuff for the pinion on a 300, the pinion nuts. This was a modified, uh, what was that? Modified, uh, oh, swing arm bearing tool. That's what that was. Uh, trying to think if I've missed anything here. I think that's about it. Uh, I do carry these to lock up everything. I've got a couple of those. I lock up the four wheelers with this at night. I lock up the gas cans with that. I do carry my mini torch just in case because that was a booger trying to get that ball joint out. Uh, I carry that with me just to heat stuff up and help go with it. Uh, I do carry some of these clevises, these big toe hooks, uh, just in case we have to winch something up onto a tree somewhere. Uh, my bottle opener, can't forget my bottle opener. I do carry my light. Uh, I got my, my, well, that was my ibuprofen right here in the shop. These are my, uh, I call these my riding glasses and my party glasses. And I carry those during the summer. Mm. I carry me, uh, I always carry a bunch of these, bunch of straps and zip ties. Uh, I've got one of those truck bed deals that ratchets down. I've got two of those now. I carry my little charbroil. Uh, cooked some steak on that the other day and some deer meat, but I carry that with us to go smoke because I don't like eating out. I like cooking my own stuff. Uh, my ramps I got from Harbor Freight as well. Uh, that's about all I, I take. Sometimes I'll take a, a fishing pole. You never know when you're going to find a good fishing hole to fish in. But that's pretty much all I take. That and my blow-up air mattress and the tent and food. I do carry my lawn chair. Uh, I do carry my jack and jack stands in case you got a flat on the truck. A uh, little jack that comes with the truck does not work. It's uh, a jack up with a four-wheeler in the bed. So I got my Harbor Freight three-ton jack. I got my jack stands for changing tires. I do have a half inch impact that I take, an electric impact. I don't have a Mac or anything. I have a DeWalt. Uh, works just as good. Hadn't had a trouble. Uh, I carry that. It's a 20 volt. I carry that with the light, extra light for if we're working at the house. Uh, what I call the house, the camp. Uh, home is where you make it. Uh, that's about all that I, I actually take with me. But uh, I'm going to come back inside and let this weather die down a little bit, if it will. And uh, until next time, guys.